Okay, so let's go ahead and continue exploring Terrigen 3. And one what I want to look on this set of the buttons or tabs that is um, just below drop down menus. Some of them, like this one, will um, perform some operations or open pop up windows. And, and some of them will affect layout to take to specific workflow section. So first we have the same duplicates, create new projects, open, save, and you notice right here we have a teeny tiny error. So it's mean when you click, you will have it additional options how you want to save it. Next, we have a pop-up render view. So you can pre-render on a selected render node. Okay, right here we have the render selected. Then next we also have 3D preview. This is will just open in case if you accidentally or some close to Windows change, you can always click and open. You can do this as well by pressing the um, F4 key or just click. So it's just fast, hot shortcut. Library will open library um, pop-up windows or standalone windows so we can access. The next one is allowed us access and change layout in our main window. Most of them will affect just the left side. So it's allowed us to access specific um, nodes or components layout. For example, right here we have objects, terrains, shatters, water object if we have it any, atmosphere settings, lightings, cameras, renders, and if we're going to node network, you notice it will just create one large access of the node network. If you need to come and access um, in a view as well, how I say the component browsers on our right, right here, you can have all of those components in a node view. So you can easy and fast access to just specific of the node. It's kind of a little bit faster. As well, next to this, in some cases, like right here, you can see we have a preview that is created top fractal preview of the um, view of the fractal from the top. So we can pre see how it's look. Example, if we're going to the atmosphere and we'll add just atmosphere layer. Okay, let's go to um, here preview in some case right small you can see we can leave it adjust so we can adjusting and you can preview the layouts of the cloud so it can become useful when you start working on this case error here of the displaying it does not affect how those um, object will display so it's just uh, in the hierarchy how you was adding items to the nodes okay let's go back now and look on a couple more so we have it, how I said before, we have it objects, which we can create and add any additional or imported objects. You also will have it objects if you're using them as a populations, you will just see um, those objects display as a multiple. You can access properties of these objects, general by clicking or any specific options like for example, it's a planet object, but which is have a fractal terrain. So you can drill down kind of to these applications. In an object node, you can create separate planets in this case, backdrops or any other previews, maybe um, trees and other options that you use it. Terrains and some you can access the overall terrain and we'll look on some additional terrains you notice right here we have um some different type of terrains high field and a or a fractal we'll look on those a little bit closer when we start working on terrains right here you have it also order when order is important you will have it additional options to modify by moving selecting and moving up or down in order okay as well on this window you notice we change depend on what uh, tab you're selecting you change also options that you can add it okay next we have shatters or materials and when you start working with the shatters depend on specific um, terrain you're working the orders is important the one thing to understand on the shatters order 
it is going from the top to the bottom. So top, it will be your bottom material. And then on the bottom one, lowest one, it will be your top. So it is in order the edit. However, you can always move and modify. This is will make a little bit more sense when we start working on a project and when we start adding some terrains probably. So water, same, we can add additional lake or water. You notice it's not infinity water. It's a lake which will create just around area, around specific. Um, you can create or simulate some of the water properties with just terrain if you want infinity. Just apply properly materials and other stuff. We also have an atmosphere settings, which is allowed us work on a global atmosphere. Also, when you add any cloud layers like in this, it will be displayed here as well. The next, we have a lighting, which is already two lighting sources set by default environment or for GI lighting. So you can specify all the colors. Think about this is global ambient light. And currently we have an additional sunlight, which is, you notice right here, yellow dot, it display for the sun location. You can always go and change and modify. You can add additional environment lights, spotlights, sunlight, or additional light source. So if you want, you can add and modify light sources as well in this case. Cameras, you can add additional position cameras. And uh, one important thing when you want to render, for example, if I go in right here and I modify position for my camera, even I select my camera, the position of the camera does not update automatically. I need to use this button, copy to view current render to make this camera is updated. So if I do this, that time is updating. So if I click render, it will display from this point. So sometimes this is one of the most frustrating things when you start working original. You think you maybe go click and you modify um, your camera settings. So you adjust this position you want to click render and it won't render this one it will render back where the camera resets the one thing i say you need update copy to green camera render so this way you'll do it okay next we have a renders and renders will allow you to create different type um pre-renders for example you can have a final render you can have a preview render or different quality. So it's allowed you to very fast access and preview them. Um, notice right here, you can have it different options as well. And we'll look more when we start working with the nodes. Anytime all of these options, if you look before, when you're selecting, you can fast rename them. We'll look, and I do recommend when you start working so you can identify a little bit easy, not from after generating names. And of course, in the next, the node network, let's look closer. How we said before, this is not in order at the affecting. It's just as order you add components in. We can a little bit closer pop a look on the node network. Um, personally, because I used actually three monitors layout, I find many times I created node network as standalone and move it to my other monitor till I work. So I do access and I like larger view, but in many cases, uh, I'm using or in this way, preview on the bottom or standalone windows on a separate monitor. So overall, this is preview of the tabs and navigations from our um, Terrigen 3.